Hi, so I'm just seated here on my, actually it's my praying mat, but I'm using it for, you know, to just keep it on the floor. Uh, but I love to sit on the floor and have meals and I don't know, I, I have uh, never really liked to sit on chairs for some reason, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I just have a cup of tea here, this is some Moroccan tea. Uh, and it's like green tea and I think I look a little bit sunburned but that's because I've been in the sun a little bit today so I think that is the reason for that but actually today I got uh, my sort of admission for the autumn like the university in my studies so I got to know what I have for courses in the autumn I knew that I have uh, that I'm continuing with the master program that I'm doing in integrative health science but I wasn't sure with all of the courses that I have applied to and because some people ask me like okay what are you studying you know these things I thought that okay I will I will tell the give a little bit run through of the courses that I have for the autumn because then I can refer to this video and I don't have to you know say anything more about it but also because um, for anyone who is interested about going to the university, uh, I think I should make a video about talking about schools and education, you know, the differences between school and education and should you go to university and all these things, because I have some I, tips on that as well, you know. Uh, but uh, so for my master program, I'm going to be doing one course the first one was starting in September, so starting on the 2nd of uh, September, I think, or on the 1st, I might be mistaken, it depends. It will be the first Monday in September at least. And that course is called uh, Strategic Management in Welfare Organizations. Uh, and then for the master, I also have, because I'm doing the master half time, so I have like 50% like, uh, you know, and each and one of the courses are like 7.5 credits. Uh, mostly when you're doing a thesis, they might be between 7.5 to 30 credits, you know, depending on what uh, sort of thesis you're doing. Um, but also the second uh, course that I have for the for the master in the autumn, it is called, um, let me see what it is called, <laughs> I think it's called, uh, it has to do with economic evaluation, but uh, I need to check what is the English name, so let me see, oh, it didn't even find this course, anyway, the course that I also have, it is about health economic analy analysis and it is on an advanced level so I have no idea what that is practically meaning because I have done one uh, health economy course but that one was on you know basic like A level and I have no experience of doing economics on advanced level so I don't know what that's going to be about uh, however I don't think they they will demand like you know very in-depth financial theories and stuff because this is more for the health field and the health field is not dealing with in-depth financial you know like calculations and stuff and we have some calculations you know there are some statistics and there are some as i said evaluation economic evaluations and stuff but it's not like numbers mathematically only you know you have other stuff as well so that is the other course that i have for the master in the, in the autumn and tomorrow i'm going to get the course literature for the first master course that i have in the autumn because there was one book called something transcending management in welfare organizations or whatever i think and i have like five or six different books for the first course which is kind of a lot and also besides that obviously I have uh, 
articles and stuff and because I will be very potentially busy in the autumn because I am applying for cabin crew positions and if I start with a cabin crew uh, training I will be potentially starting uh, around the end of September so while I will be doing a cabin crew training I would need like four weeks to be somewhere actually both in Sweden and in maybe in uh, in the UK and do the training for four weeks and that would mean I don't have time to study so much in that time so I need to study ahead and consider that I may not have the time to actually study in the autumn even if I'm enrolling the courses so I need to read the literature as much as I can now so I will just focus on the assignments when I'm starting the courses and this is a really good tip like I did this now because this spring I studied 200% of studies and uh, I was doing other stuff as well so I mean to have read a little bit of the literature before you start in the course can be a good tip if you have a lot of courses going on in the same time uh, and also uh, what else yeah and then I get accepted and this I already knew that I would be accepted to but to the uh, C level or taste what is it called C level thesis you know for to take out the bachelor degree <clears throat> you need to do a um, thesis you know and uh, the thesis project is like 15 credits and then you're doing some research and project plan and those are also 15 credits so I have one such also in the autumn but I have already done the project plan and I have applied for a scholarship for that uh, thesis and I need to do some fixings with that scholarship uh, I don't know if I'm going to be using the scholarship in the autumn I might do that that means I will go to Jordan for a couple of days around 90 days <laughs> uh, but that also depends on if I will be doing the cabin crew thing then I you know I cannot be in Jordan and do cabin crew in the same time but I will either way do the thesis so I'm also going to start with the the background for that thesis is like next week so I'm gonna work on those things and then what I also got accepted to was uh, two freestanding courses and I don't know now <laughs> because I think that after the autumn my uh, uh, my like second bachelor degree is going to be completed with courses so I think I might can use some of these courses that I have now is because I was accepted to two different freestanding courses and one of them I don't know if I'm going to react because that one is actually I'm gonna get to the point with it because it had some travel involved in it but one of the courses that I did get accepted to which are freestanding and I probably will add it into this uh, second bachelor degree uh, if I have space for it otherwise it's just going to be one course that is outside the new program uh, so it is called yoga and meditation yay because actually my uh, thesis project is going to be concerning a little bit of yoga and some other stuff but uh, yeah so it is about yoga and meditation historical and critical perspectives and this course seems like oh okay it is on the like a level it was not an a level course this <laughs> yoga and meditation course demanded that the students who are going to enroll it have completed at least one okay i will repeat it at least one bachelor degree prior to actually applying to this and i was shocked about it because when you're doing like management courses if you're doing financial theory if you're doing whatever whatever you might be doing you don't need to have complete a bachelor degree in advance before you take on any of those courses but to study yoga and meditation on university level in this particular course i needed to have 180 credits accomplished before i proceeded to this one uh, so yeah i was accepted to that one I will enroll it, uh, it is uh, on distance and uh, 
It is uh, from a university in Göteborg. And in case I am working as cabin crew, I might have my base in Göteborg. So, like my work, not really my workplace because I would be in the air, but like my location for like takeoff and landing, maybe. Partly, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, so that course I'm going to enroll. And then I also was accepted to this course that has travel involved. So it is a course that is within the religious uh, type of field. And I don't know if this one had any pre... Uh, if it was like, if you could apply to it. No, actually it says that you need to have done 60 credits in the university before you apply to this course. And this one is actually, so basically you need to have done like one year in the university if you have studied 30 credits uh, each term. Uh, <clears throat> but this course, it is about a little bit religion and a little bit society, a little bit about psychology, a little bit of behaviorism and a little bit history and just this type of society related stuff. And it is actually, uh, involving one trip to Jerusalem and one trip to Istanbul and those trips are in uh, end of September uh, for two weeks I think two weeks or one I don't know exactly how long these trips are but it is um, this course I could enroll uh, I could do the first half of it because it had a couple of uh, like meetings on the university and then I don't know if I would be able to go to Jerusalem and Istanbul because I, if I do in the cabin crew tra training it would start end of uh, September and also if I'm not doing that cabin crew training then I might if I'm going to do the scholarship I will have one um, potentially one trip that is going to be around the 23rd, 22nd to uh, 25th in Sweden. So potentially I could travel from wherever I would be to this location somewhere, but I don't think that, it, that it's going to work because all these travel stuff seem to happen in the same days, which is very bad. But, and also it's not typical that I have so many trips and stuff that all of a sudden it's going to occur in the same day. So I wish that there was like, you know, some of these, like for example, this trip would have been in November or in late of October or something, because then maybe I could have, you know, enrolled it and gone to those locations. But uh, because of that, because I will not be able potentially to go on those trips, I am considering to cancel the trip or like not cancel the trip but cancel the course uh, because I would be able to it has like a course literature list and I could you know read the course literature and just do the assignment which is actually to record a oral presentation on a video and that's it so I think I can manage it you know whatever they have for course literature involved in that but I feel like if I would enroll this course, I would, I'm actually looking on my laptop because I have it on the floor. So if I would uh, en enroll this course, I would have liked to go obviously to uh, Jerusalem and to Istanbul. But because I'm not able to do it now, I was thinking maybe I should reject the course and then I can apply to it next year because I think they will have this course again. So, but I'm, I don't know. I don't know actually if I'm going to react it or not, because if I'm accepting it, I could enroll the parts of it which is not involving the trip, but um, I'm kind of 50-50 here, I don't know. Uh, and also because if I'm accepting this one, I have, how many credits do I have? 60 credits for the autumn uh, of university studies, which is like equal to one year. But it depends, it totally depends on the courses themselves. Even if they are, um, you know, 60 credits, you can still do like 60 credits in one term. Uh, but it, 
also depends on the topics and so forth and also on your own ambition level you know like if you are able to process a lot of information in a short amount of time and have a lot of things going on in the same time then fine you can definitely do like 60 credits no problem um, <clears throat> but yeah I will see because actually I'm kind of still thinking I might um, accept the course and then if I'm realizing that after I have got some answers about other stuff and seen how that goes I might can react it in a later stage but I know that there are some people probably who maybe want to go on this course and who maybe have the means and you know all these things actually go to those locations however I, <laughs> I wouldn't mind to go there you know to any of those places I would definitely like to visit Jerusalem again I would like to go to Turkey again so but either way this is a course so it's not like you're traveling on your free time and you can just venture off and do whatever this is like through the university and you're like going in a group with people you have not met and uh, I mean I don't know if I would like <laughs> to hang out with people who are on my courses I feel like you I mean it's like a work trip you know you need to be very professional if you go on those trips because it's not your friends it's not the people you kind of connecting with you know on a personal level so it's not like you know yeah I don't know really it depends totally on whoever is going on that trip but I will see how I'll do and that one is also like half time actually how how speed is what kind of speed is this yoga um, so one of the re yeah it's also half time so one thing I might do is that I will react that course that I was talking about and instead add some Arabic because I need to practice my Arabic I want to learn Arabic like more fluently now I don't know also because I'm trying to get myself into uh, to sort of increase my grade in Mathematics C from the upper secondary school and I have the literature for that I have a grade in Mathematics C so don't misconfuse this but I want to increase the grade because when I'm applying to different um, programs and courses and stuff and I probably will continue to do in the future uh, I want to have a grade that is good so I can compete with the other people who are on the programs you know or like also applying for the stuff and also because I feel like I want to sort of you know refresh my mathematics skills or whatever because I don't do so much math you know to be fairly honest I did some math when I did business administration but business administration was more like I don't know business is not just about math you know it's not at all only about math uh, it also is a lot about organization, psychology, you know, and have marketing skills and understanding strate strategical planning and like project management, like, you know, behaviorism, how you put together groups and all these types of things. So it's not only about math, you know, and like uh, such things. So, yeah, so those are the <laughs> courses that I was accepted to. That I will en enroll in the autumn and uh, I need to just figure out how if I'm going to make any changes but I think I also my free time I will try and learn some more Arabic because I was learning I learned the letters of Arabic so I know the how to write and I can read but I don't know how to speak fluently you know I can some word, I can say some words and stuff, but I don't know it fluently. I did uh, when I was in uh, in the middle school or whatever. I did some French, so I learned a little bit of French, but I don't speak it fluently. And I always, always wanted to learn French. Since I was like uh, four years old, I was like, I want to learn French, you know. But I didn't learn it so much, you know. So I don't speak it, you know, not fluently at all. Uh, <clears throat> but languages are really good you know it's really useful to know languages but also sometimes when you're traveling and people are talking behind your back and about you and stuff 
it's very nice to not know what they are saying, you know, because then you can just be like, ah, oh, okay, whatever, I don't, I don't understand what they're saying, you know. If you understand the language and you have to listen to people talking about you, you will just be like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that is one thing to think about. Um, but yeah, I will see. And also uh, in Sweden, the system for admission and stuff is like you can apply to 12 courses a term and you can get accepted to uh, to maximum, I think, 200% like 60 credits a term if it's the autumn or spring. And if you're going to study more, you have to get some agreement or whatever from the universities. So yeah, I'm gonna end here. Uh, and that is it.